G'day aspiring engineers, welcome to part 12 of 16. Today we're going to learn how to use a sketch for more than one feature. Now I bet you're getting rather confident, but stick with me and hang out, push through to the end of all 16 of these basic parts. You're getting the idea of strategy, you're starting to be able to model just about anything. Uh, but in the next few parts we're going to learn about how to make some new features like ribs, patterns and angled planes. So stick around. If you're thinking of a career as an engineer or as an entrepreneur in the new world of opportunities for manufacturing and engineering, then make a start by subscribing and click on that bell icon and you'll be on your way. Go ahead and download the 16 drawings of this series and uh, you'll be able to follow along. Click on the link below. To now let's get into part 12. Alrighty, so let's turn on the point of origin. Right click, sketch, create sketch. Click on that reference plane and hit the L key for the line tool. Now we're going to make a, uh, a very basic shape here, what we call a dumb solid. So it's only got to look something like this. Uh, I'm just making sure that I get uh, horizontal and vertical lines and when I get back to the, to the start, then the profile is complete. Now hit the D key for the dimension tool and let's uh, put some dimensions on here. This is supposed to be 25. Uh, the other end is supposed to be 25 thick. We've got a few lengths, like the overall length here is 145 and the overall height is 90. Now, S key for the shortcuts menu, get the select tool and grab this thing and move it around. What we want to do is put it roughly there and we need to have a distance of 48 using the dimension tool from the point of origin to the bottom of the part, that's 48. We want to have it about 12 from the very end of the part. Okay, and so that's our basic shape what we call uh, a dumb solid. It's not quite a solid yet, let's hit the E key for the extrude tool and then uh, select the profile and uh, drag on that thing a little bit and what we want to do is have a symmetric extrusion and uh, the distance is going to be 3 times 24 is 72 uh, half of that is 36 so we want uh, 36 as the distance in there click OK Let's just make sure that we've got that correct by looking at the inspect measure and pick one of those lines and the length is 72 so we've got that right. Okay, we've got a couple more features to do on this, uh, on this dumb solid. First thing I'll do is uh, start a sketch, right click sketch create sketch on the very front of the part over here, use the rectangle tool and that gives us the the two point rectangle tool, uh, hit the D key to get the dimension tool and you can see that the length of this going by our drawing is 72 millimeters long and the height of it is 6. Hit the E key, choose the, uh, choose the profile, then uh, you notice that the arrow is pointing away from the part so we're going to hit the minus key and the distance here is 50. Okay, that's that feature. Let's uh, do another sketch for another feature. Create sketch. On the very back of the part, this time I'm going to use C for circle. I'm going to use L for line. I'm going to put a couple of lines across there. Um, I'm not even going to try to make those things uh, horizontal because I'm going to make sure that they are by using the select tool to select one of them, hit the horizontal or vertical uh, constraint, same with the other one. Uh, now we need a, a couple of uh, dimensions there and the distance between them is 36. Close. Uh, let's make sure that we've got those things nicely symmetrical there half of 36. So what I'm going to do is type in 36 
divided by 2, hit enter, and we've got the uh, got 18. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't have very much mental arithmetic. I went to state school. So 36 and 18 there. Let's make sure that we've got this circle the right size. Uh, this one has a, a radius of 30, so a diameter of 60. Now we can uh, hit the S key and get the trim tool and trim out a few of these uh, parts of the sketch that we don't need. Hit the uh, C for circle, put another circle in there, D for dimension, and uh, the size of this one is a uh, diameter of 24. There we go. E this time. So I'm going to choose the, uh, the profile, not counting the, uh, the little circle in the middle there. And notice we've got the arrow going the wrong way, so I'm going to hit minus 12 is the distance. And then I'm going to do another one here, and uh, so E again, choose the, the center of the pole. And this time I want to use, I'm just going to get that uh, thing going in the correct direction and use, uh, not symmetric, but through all. And then OK. So there's the one sketch making two different features. We've got one more item to do. I can turn off that sketch now that we've used it. Uh, right click, sketch, create sketch. This time I'm going to do it on the top of that uh, bottom part. This time I'm going to use the line tool to uh, make a, a rough sketch. I've made the, the last line there purposely out of uh, horizontal, so I'm going to make sure that it is horizontal with a constraint. And then I need to, I can see that there's a, a tangent constraint between that line and that curve, so I'm going to select the curve and the other line with the shift key and make sure that that one is also tangential. Now the D key to get the, uh, the radius of this curve, which is 12. I'm going to put a I'm going to put a dimensional constraint here, which, oh, it's overdone it. Of course, we've got the radius on there, we don't need that one. The only one we need here now is, double click, change that to 24. And now, if I put another one on this side, uh, just demonstrate what happens there, it's going to be over constrained. You see that? So I won't put that one on there. There's only one dimension that that can possibly be, so we've got that fully constrained. Uh, the last thing we need to do here is put a dimension between the point of origin of the curve and the end of the part and this one is 50. Whoops. Now it's time to complete that feature so hit the E key, choose the profile and then uh, drag the uh, little arrow downwards, uh, change that from distance to through all, click OK and our part's done. Now keep an eye out for the next one and I'll see you then. Bye now.